Have you ever paused to ponder the dark and mysterious meanings hidden in ancient symbols? These ancient emblems, etched on weathered stone or painted in forgotten caves, hold a fascinating allure, don't they? They are enigmatic whispers from the past, shrouded in shadows of mystery and intrigue. Our ancestors, long before the advent of alphabets and languages as we know them, used symbols to communicate. These cryptic signs were their stories, their warnings, their wisdom passed down generations. They hold within them a wealth of historical information, a chronicle of human experience in its rawest form. Yet they are more than mere historical records. They often bear darker, deeper meanings, sometimes sinister, always captivating. The true essence of these symbols has been lost to the sands of time, buried under layers of interpretation and speculation. So buckle up, as we journey back in time to uncover the cryptic messages encoded in these ancient symbols. Our journey begins at the dawn of human civilization, where the first symbols were born. In the infancy of human expression, when language was still an abstract concept, our ancestors began to etch their narratives onto the walls of caves and onto the faces of stones. These were the first symbols, the earliest form of communication, and they were as profound as they were mysterious. The cave paintings, for instance, are a fascinating testament to the dawn of symbolism. Found across the globe, from the depths of Lascaux in France to the remote caves of Indonesia, these ancient wall drawings speak volumes about our ancestors' lives and beliefs. But they also hint at darker undertones. Images of fierce beasts and hunted game often intermingle with more ambiguous figures, possibly representing death or the supernatural. Petroglyphs, too, are a critical part of this early symbolic language. Carved onto rock surfaces, these symbols often portrayed everyday scenes but with a twist. In many cultures, petroglyphs took on a more sinister hue, illustrating violent events or invoking the wrath of unseen deities. These cryptic symbols are not mere doodles of a bygone era. They are the first records of humanity trying to make sense of the world and its many mysteries. They are the precursors to the written word, the earliest attempts at capturing the human experience in a visible form. But these symbols weren't just about recording events or expressing thoughts. They were also about invoking emotions, inciting fear, or inspiring awe. Death, violence, and the supernatural were common themes, suggesting that our ancestors were as preoccupied with the dark and the mysterious as we are today. These primordial symbols, while rudimentary, laid the groundwork for the complex symbol systems that were to come. From these humble beginnings sprouted the intricate hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt, the profound symbols of ancient Greece, the cryptic runes of the Vikings, and the enigmatic symbols of medieval alchemy. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's continue to delve into the intriguing world of ancient symbolism where every mark holds a tale of mystery, fear, and awe. We now find ourselves in the land of the pharaohs, where symbols took on a whole new level of complexity. Ancient Egypt, a civilization that flourished more than 3,000 years ago, developed an intricate system of hieroglyphs, a writing system composed of a vast array of symbols. Each symbol in this system, known as a hieroglyph, was more than just a simple character or letter as we understand them today. Instead, these symbols held deep significance, often representing complex concepts, ideas, or deities. Some of these symbols, however, held darker connotations. Take, for example, the Ankh, often understood as a symbol of life and eternity. While this is true, there is also a more sinister interpretation. The Ankh's resemblance to a key has led some to suggest it could be a key to the underworld, a tool to unlock the gates of death itself. Then there's the Eye of Ra, a symbol often associated with the sun, healing, and protection. However, in some tales, the Eye of Ra is a destructive force, a weapon used by the sun god to smite those who would oppose him. It's a reminder that even divine protection can come with a heavy price. Lastly, we have the Scarab, a symbol of rebirth and transformation. The ancient Egyptians observed scarab beetles seemingly emerging from the ground, an act they associated with resurrection. But the scarab also has a darker side. It was believed to navigate the souls of the deceased, 
Through the dangers of the underworld, a terrifying journey that not all souls would survive. These symbols, the Ankh, the Eye of Ra, and the Scarab, are just a few examples of the complex and often darkly nuanced hieroglyphic system of ancient Egypt. Each symbol, each hieroglyph, held a wealth of meaning, shedding light on the Egyptians' intricate beliefs about life, death, and the divine. The Egyptians' intricate symbol system was a testament to their fascination with the afterlife and the supernatural. Just as the symbols themselves hold layers of meaning, so too does the civilization that created them, a civilization that saw the world not just as it was, but as it could be in the most awe-inspiring and terrifying ways. Next, we travel to the cradle of Western civilization, where symbols were steeped in mythology. Our exploration into the enigmatic world of ancient symbols takes us to Greece, a land where gods and monsters walked hand in hand in the tales of old. Here, symbols were not mere artistic expressions but carried profound meanings, often reflecting the dark corners of human psyche. Let's take Medusa, for instance. This monstrous gorgon, with snakes for hair and a gaze that could turn a man to stone, embodies a primal fear. Yet she's more than a symbol of terror. Ancient Greeks saw Medusa as a protective entity. Her terrifying visage used to ward off evil. She was a paradox, a symbol of both fear and protection, a testament to the Greek understanding of the duality of existence. Next, consider the Minotaur, a beast with the body of a man and the head of a bull, trapped in an intricate labyrinth. The Minotaur represents the fear of the unknown, and the dangers that lurk in the shadows of the unfamiliar. It served as a reminder of the punishments that awaited those who dared to defy the gods. Finally, we come to the Hydra, a serpentine water monster with many heads. Each time one head was cut off, two more would grow back. The Hydra symbolizes the inevitability of death and the futility of resisting it. It was a grim reminder of mortality and the cyclical nature of life and death. These symbols from ancient Greece were not mere flights of fancy. They were reflections of a society's collective fears, its attempts to understand and navigate the uncertainties of existence. They were tools to impart wisdom, to caution against hubris, and to provide comfort in the face of the unknown. These symbols revealed the Greeks' deep-seated fears and their attempts to make sense of the world. They remind us that despite the passage of millennia, the human condition remains the same, and so do our fears and hopes. As we delve deeper into the world of ancient symbols, we realize that they are not just echoes from the past, but mirrors reflecting our present. Our journey takes us next to the harsh and rugged landscapes of the north where runes ruled the day. The Vikings, those intrepid seafarers and warriors of the north, had a runic system a set of symbols that served not only as a method of communication but also as a potent tool for divination and magic. Each rune was more than a mere letter, it was a symbol, steeped in mythology and imbued with the power of the gods. One of the most sinister runes was the Tiwaz rune, shaped like an upward-pointing arrow. Named after Tyr, the Viking god of war, it was used to invoke victory in battle. But the victory promised by the Tiwaz rune was not without a price. It represented the dark reality of war, the inevitability of death and the sacrifices required for success. Another chilling rune was Hagalaz, the hailstone rune. It symbolized destructive forces and natural disasters. The Vikings believed that inscribing this rune could unleash chaos and devastation, much like the icy hailstorms of the Nordic winters. Then there was the Nothis rune, representing need and hardship. It was a stark reminder of the harsh conditions the Vikings often faced, a symbol of struggle and the relentless wheel of fate. But perhaps the most foreboding of all was the Perthro rune. Shrouded in mystery, its exact meaning remains unknown. Some scholars suggest it has connections to fate and destiny. Others believe it symbolizes the mysteries of the universe the secrets that lie beyond the realm of human understanding. These runes etched in stone, wood or metal were more than mere markings. They were a reflection of the Vikings' world, their struggles, their beliefs and their fears. They were a testament to a warrior culture that revered the forces of nature, the gods and the inexorable march of destiny. 
The Vikings' runes are a testament to their warrior culture and their belief in fate. We now find ourselves in the Middle Ages, where symbols were shrouded in mystery and secrecy. In the heart of this era, alchemy flourished. Alchemists used a variety of symbols to represent elements, processes, and concepts. Some of these symbols carried sinister connotations, their meanings veiled in a shroud of darkness. Let's delve into the realm of the Ouroboros, the Philosopher's Stone, and the Pentagram. The Ouroboros, a serpent or dragon devouring its own tail, is a symbol of cyclicality, the eternal return. But there's a darker side to this symbol. It also represents the cycle of life and death, the relentless dance of creation and destruction. As the Ouroboros consumes itself, it mirrors our own mortality, a reminder of the transient nature of life. Then we have the Philosopher's Stone, the coveted object of every alchemist's pursuit. It was believed to grant immortality and turn base metals into gold. Yet, the search for the Philosopher's Stone was not just a quest for physical wealth or endless life. It symbolized a spiritual journey, a transformation of the self. The stone embodied the ultimate paradox, the promise of eternal life shadowed by the inevitability of death. Lastly, the pentagram, a five-pointed star enclosed within a circle. It served as a symbol of the five classical elements, earth, water, air, fire, and spirit. But in the darker corners of alchemy, the inverted pentagram was associated with the occult, signifying a rebellion against natural order. Its five points turned upside down represented a disruption of harmony, a dance with the forbidden. These symbols were not merely drawings on a parchment. They were keys to understanding the medieval mindset, a coded language meant to unlock the mysteries of the universe. They encapsulated the hopes, fears, and obsessions of an era when the boundaries between science, philosophy, and spiritualism were blurred. These alchemical symbols, while mysterious, provide a fascinating glimpse into the medieval mind. So, how can we decode these ancient symbols and their dark meanings? Well, the key to unlocking the secrets of these ancient symbols lies in context, cultural understanding, and historical research. Let's start with context. Context is the framework within which these symbols were created and used. It's like the stage that sets the scene for a play. Without understanding the context, we can't fully appreciate the drama that unfolds. The same goes for ancient symbols. Without knowing the circumstances in which they were used, we can't fully grasp their meaning. Take, for example, the symbol of the serpent. In many cultures, it's associated with evil or danger due to its venomous bite. But in ancient Egyptian culture, the serpent was a symbol of protection and renewal. So, the context is crucial to decode the meaning of a symbol. Next, we have cultural understanding. Each culture has its unique set of symbols and meanings. For instance, the Eye of Horus in ancient Egyptian culture symbolized protection, while the Eye of Providence in Christian iconography represents the all-seeing Eye of God. So, understanding the culture that produced the symbol is essential in decoding its meaning. Then, we have historical research. This involves delving into the pages of history to understand the evolution of symbols over time. It's fascinating to see how the same symbol can take on different meanings in different periods. Like the swastika, an ancient symbol of peace and prosperity, which was later misappropriated by the Nazis, resulting in a dark reinterpretation. While some of these symbols may have dark meanings, it's important to remember that they also provide valuable insights into our ancestors' beliefs, fears, and understandings of the world. They show us how our forebears tried to make sense of the universe, the forces of nature, life, death, and the human condition. Decoding these symbols is more than just uncovering their dark meanings. It's about understanding our shared human history. We've traversed time and space, delving deep into the world of ancient symbols. From the dawn of symbolism, we've journeyed through the sands of time, unearthing the enigmatic meanings cloaked in the artistry of our ancestors. We began with the hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt, a civilization that flourished on the banks of the Nile. These intricate symbols, often depicting gods, animals, and elements of nature, 
were not just mere illustrations. They held dark meanings, reflecting the Egyptians' deep-seated fear of death and their quest for immortality. Next, we ventured into the land of the ancient Greeks, a culture renowned for its philosophers and sculptors. Their symbols, filled with mythical creatures and divine beings, were not just tokens of mythology. They were emblematic of human frailty, the omnipresence of fate, and the inescapable cycle of tragedy and triumph. Then, we braved the harsh cold of the north, exploring the runes of the Vikings. These angular symbols etched on stones and weapons were more than just letters. They embodied the Vikings' grim acceptance of their destiny, their belief in the gods' whims, and their valor in the face of adversity. Our journey also took us to the era of medieval alchemy, a time of mystery and transformation. The alchemical symbols, often featuring celestial bodies and mystical creatures, were not just scientific notation. They symbolized the alchemists' quest for knowledge, their fear of the unknown, and their hope in the power of transmutation. Finally, we decoded these symbols, peeling back layers of time and understanding. The dark meanings were revealed, not as mere curiosities, but as profound insights into the human condition, reflecting our shared fears, hopes, and aspirations. While these symbols may hold dark meanings, they also serve as a fascinating window into our past, shedding light on the fears, beliefs, and hopes of our ancestors.